Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Chris Latimer, and I'm on the streaming team at Datastacks. Today, we're going to talk about a feature of Pulsar called Key Shared Subscriptions. And if you'd like to follow along, but you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can head over to astro.datastacks.com slash register streaming, and you can create a free account and get a new Pulsar instance up and running in just about a minute. And should you have any questions about today's video or about Pulsar in general, you can email pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That's going to reach the entire team at Datastacks that works on Pulsar. To understand what key shared subscriptions are, we first need to understand what shared subscriptions are. And shared subscriptions is just a way to tell Pulsar that when a producer pushes messages onto a topic, I'm not going to have a single consumer that's going to process those messages. I'm gonna have a pool of consumers that are going to work in parallel to process all of the messages that come into a topic. One of the trade-offs that you have when you use a shared subscription is that you're going to give up ordering guarantees. So the messages that come onto this topic are going to get round robin to the different consumers that are attached to that shared subscription. So that's where the shared and key shared comes from. But what about the key? Well, when you publish messages onto a topic in Pulsar, you can optionally specify the message key for each message. And this gives you a way to correlate related messages together. And the idea behind key shared is that I can kind of get the best of both worlds where like a shared subscription, I can have multiple consumers that are processing those messages. But unlike with the shared subscription where I'd have these messages potentially get processed out of order, a key shared subscription lets me guarantee that the messages with the same message key are going to be processed by the same consumer in the order that they were received. Now, this is going to get you know, thrown out the window if you add or remove consumers, uh, but as long as you have a fixed number of consumers, those messages for the same key are going to go to the same uh, consumer. So let's jump into Pulsar now and see how we actually set this up. Key shared subscriptions are a standard feature of Pulsar. So whatever version of Pulsar you're using, it'll work. I'm, the version I'm using here today is called Astro Streaming from Datastacks. It's a cloud version of Pulsar, really easy to get up and running. And I already have a streaming tenant created. So I'm gonna come here to topics and I'm gonna add a new topic in the default namespace called key shared example, uh, persistent, not partitioned, and add the topic. Now let's jump into the IDE and we'll see how we can create a key shared subscription with multiple consumers and send messages with the same key to individual consumers. And we'll watch how those get processed. Here in the IDE, we have two classes. We have a simple producer and a simple consumer. On the producer side, we are going to start just like we normally do with Pulsar, create a Pulsar client, point to our service URL. And in this case, we're gonna use that client to create a new producer pointing at our key shared example topic. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have sort of an uh, inner and outer loop. So the outer loop is essentially gonna be used as our, our message key. So you can see here, I've got, you know, key plus, you know, J, that's our, our you know, loop, loop counter that we have here. And then for each message I'm going to, for each message key, I'm going to loop from zero to nine, creating 10 total messages of the format, uh, key, you know, then you say like key, key zero, key one, key two, and then message zero, one, two, three, four, up to message nine. Uh, then we're gonna, for each one of those, we're gonna push those onto the topic. On the consumer side, um, we're gonna start off the same way by creating a client and then use that client to create a new consumer pointing to our key shared example topic uh, with the subscription name of my dash subscription. And then right here is where we tell Pulsar that we wanna use the key shared subscription type. And this just lets Pulsar know that I'm gonna have multiple consumers. And whenever you see a message for a given key, please deliver that in the right order to the right consumer. So let's go here. And I've got three terminal windows ready to go. And before this, I pre-compiled a jar using the consumer class as the main class. I'm gonna start the consumer here, start the consumer here, and start the consumer here. So now we have three consumers that are running. And I'll go back into the IDE, go to my producer, and kick this off. This is gonna create a total of 100 messages for 10 different keys. And as that's starting up here in a minute, well, it'll start pushing the messages onto the topic. And then here on the windows, we can now see that for each given key that's coming in, you know, starting here with key zero, we're processing messages zero to nine. And then likewise, I think yeah, key one was over here in the third window, zero to nine. 
And they just kind of went back and forth. You may be wondering how Pulsar decides which consumer is going to get which message key. The answer is basically that there's a hash function that Pulsar uses on the message key, and then it does a mod of that hash to decide which consumer is going to get uh, a hash range. It's actually a little bit uh, complicated and probably more than we can go into in today's video to keep this around five minutes, but we'll probably do a part two of this because there's some other cool features of KeyShare that we just don't have time to get into today. So that in a nutshell is how we create a key shared subscription inside of Pulsar and how those work. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That's gonna help more people find this video and get started with Pulsar. And with that, I think we will sign off. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.